Welcome back. We just got finished discussing all of the vocabulary words for our one-point perspective lesson. Now we're going to start drawing our one-point perspective lesson. The first part of this lesson is going to be finding the true center of your paper. Um, there's many ways to find the center of a rectangle or square, but I'm going to show you one in this video that you're going to use uh, again and again in our um, lessons on perspective. Then we'll put in the horizon line, we'll put in the vanishing point, and we'll show you how to make three different boxes. All right, so getting started. You'll need a straight edge, a pencil, and hopefully uh, you won't need it too much, but an eraser. All right, now getting started, you're gonna take your straight edge, and you're gonna line up both corners of your paper. And then just draw yourself a nice light line. You could make it dotted if you'd like. Uh, but if you take two diagonal lines, between a, in a rect, inside of a rectangle, you will find what's called the true center. Now, why I call it the true center is because it will be the center every time, no matter what size your rectangle, no matter what shape your rectangle, um, and even if your rectangle is going back into space in your drawing, you'll still be able to find the true center. So there's the true center of my paper. All right, I use this trick all the time when I'm uh, thinking about composition so that I make sure I don't, don't put anything directly in the center. Uh, however, we're going to use it so that we can find our true center and then we're going to make everything vanish to that point. All right, so there's our true center. Next, take your uh, straight edge, make sure that it's parallel. Being parallel and straight to the edges is really gonna make this assignment look nice. And when you start designing your final summative project, uh, you're gonna wanna make sure that you've got that worked out. So uh, make sure your straight edge is parallel to the bottom and top of your paper and draw a nice line there. And on that line, write horizon line so that I know you know what the horizon line is. Then right here in the middle of your paper where we already found that center, you're gonna put your little dot and you can label it VP for vanishing point. Please label it so I know that you know what it is. All right, now we're gonna start with our boxes. The first thing you're gonna to have to do is you're gonna make a rectangle of some sort, okay? I am going to uh, make a little rectangle over on this upper right-hand corner. You can choose to make it uh, wherever seems comfortable for you. Um, you're gonna be making a combination of six rectangles. I'm gonna do three with you and then you're gonna do three on your own. All right, so I'm just gonna make a two inch rectangle. I'm gonna start here at two inches, make a horizontal line. I'm gonna move my ruler up a little bit and make another approximately two inch line. All right, there's my little two parallel lines. Then I'm gonna use my ruler and just drop down a vertical here and drop down another vertical on the other side. Doesn't matter if those lines are you know, following over or not, but then just erase it so you have a nice, if you've gone over those lines and you haven't measured exactly perfectly, uh, you can just go over those uh, lines with your eraser and kind of clean them up, okay? Now you've got your first rectangle. Now you're gonna take all the corners or vertices of your rectangle and you're gonna line up your ruler with the vertice here, and you're going to draw yourself a, di a diagonal orthogonal uh, back to the vanishing point and use a dotted line while you do that. So here we go, dotted lines. I'm gonna make these diagonal lines nice and strong. Um, as we get better at this, you can uh, not, you don't need to draw so many diagonal lines. All right, I'm gonna take this bottom vertex and draw my dotted orthogonal. And the other one here on that bottom left hand corner, I'm gonna draw that orthogonal in. All right. Now I've got my orthogonals drawn in for that rectangle. Now I'm just gonna take another horizontal line, make sure that it's parallel to what you've already got on your 
drawing and I'm going to connect the orthogonals. Okay, so there's my horizontal line connecting the orthogonals. Now I'm going to take a vertical line and do the same thing. I'm going to connect the orthogonals, top and bottom here. And if I then draw this orthogonal that is dotted and I make it a little so more solid, we'll have the edges of my box. Okay, so that's how you draw a rectangular prism above the horizon line. Now, once you're done with your rectangular prism, uh, just like I did here, I would like you to leave one, like the front facing edge uh, blank, the side, one of the sides, I don't care which one really, uh, lighter and the other one darker. So I'm just gonna go back and put some simple cross hatching in. Okay, and cross hatching is just like little tiny lines. Okay, and then I'm just gonna start making them a little bigger. I like to go from the edge of my box in towards the center, then I kind of stay closer to the edge of my box. And I kind of, you know, being a little bit uptight, I like to make sure that my lines are all about the same size and going the same direction. All right, there's one side and I'm gonna do the bottom side here and try to speed up my process so this video doesn't turn out to be 20 minutes long. Alright, now we've got the two uh, bits of shading in there for that first box. Now we're going to do the same thing um, down here at the bottom. Alright, and I'm just going to speed up. Now that you've kind of got that process already, I'm going to just speed it up a little bit. So here's my horizontal line that will be the bottom of my rectangular prism. Here's the top line of my rectangular prism. Here is the vertical right side of my rectangular prism, vertical left side of my rectangular prism, orthogonal number one from the top left hand side, orthogonal from the top right hand side, And uh, sorry that overlapped my first diagonal line, so you can't really see it very well. But uh, here's my last orthogonal from the bottom right hand side. Notice that I haven't drawn in the other orthogonal that's like behind the box, you know, the bottom of the box, uh, just so that I didn't get too many lines in there and start confusing uh, things. So here's my horizontal line that's the back of my rectangular prism. Here's the vertical line. That's the side of my rectangular prism. And if I just draw right along that line and right along here, so I'm doing it freehand to speed things up. Uh, if you need to, use that ruler to make sure it looks nice. Now this is our rectangular prism on the bottom or below your horizon line. All right, so that's an example of being below the horizon line. Here's my lighter edge. Please practice uh, this cross hatching inside of the lines. Don't get sloppy and start going outside of the lines a bunch. One thing I like to say is you need to color inside the lines before you can color outside the lines. So make sure you're you know taking some care in that. All right, our last 
um, box is going to be directly on the horizon line here. All right, so I'm going to make one here. This is my vertical line, another vertical line, two vertical lines. Now I'm going to get my horizontal line. and my other horizontal line. So there's my rectangular prism. Erase that little extra bit I've got on there. All right, and now this one, since it's on the horizon line, is only gonna have two orthogonals. So that's something to be very careful about so that you know you're not getting too many orthogonals happening. So there's my first orthogonal. And here's my second orthogonal. And since there's only going to be two orthogonals, you only can put in the side of the box here. So I'm going to put the side right here. I'm going to make sure that it's perfectly parallel to that front. All right. I'm going to draw in this bottom edge and draw in the top edge. And of course, on this one, I can't have two different kinds of values. I can only have one because there's the, only the one side that is uh, facing away from us. So we've got this first front side towards us, and this other one, notice that I'm erasing my horizon line, is uh, you know facing away from us a little bit. So I'm gonna shade this one in. So that we have that box sitting right on the horizon line. So uh, last step here is I want you to just draw an arrow and write the word orthogonal so that I know you know where the horizon line is, you know what an orthogonal is, and you know what the vanishing point is. Now that I've finished three on my own and with you in the video, I would like you to finish three more on your own one that's above, one that's below, and one that is right in the middle. They can be any size you like. That's up to you. Uh, and that concludes our lesson on one-point perspective.